Ever wonder why some food boost your energy for long hikes and gym sessions and some have you feeling full and satisfied for the whole day? But the second ingredient, the essential fuel which will keep you forming for the rest of the day and you may depend on it. But here's the trick. You might have been told that it's bad for you and that you should avoid it, it's not good for you, but it may not be bad for you as you've been told before. In a world where diet makes reign supreme, one of her has been wrong for your accused. Carbs, how much you need will come down to, okay, body mass. How big are you? What's your age? So age will change how much carbs you tend, you need to have. The older you are, you might need as much carbs as if you're in your 20s or in your teens. Again, activity levels, how active are you? If you're very active, then you have a bit more carbs than someone that's not as active. Genetics will play a part in that as well. How much lean mass you have on your body, that's going to play a role in it. Personal preference as well. I just may want to eat more carbs than this person. This one has less, this person wants to have less carbs. These all play a role in how much carbs you need and why carbs will affect you in a certain way. We're not going to expect a pro footballer to have the same amount of carbs as someone that's working a desk job. The two worlds are totally different. That the needs for the body are completely different. So this is where we need to individualize how much carbs we are having for ourselves and not follow the cookie cutter program saying you have this much carb. Water weight. So water weight in the body is a big one. So with water weight, what that is, when you have carbohydrates, it's stored in the body's glucogen, mainly in the liver and the muscles. And what happens with that, once you store one gram of glucogen, it stores about three to four grams of water, which is a natural process of the body of storing energy. And then what happens with that, when you decide to go, someone goes on a low carb diet, they have less carbs, they store in less water. So therefore, what happens, they lose weight quickly, and if it's weight loss, where's this water retention that releases from the body, because now the body is using that energy, because it's on a, you're having less carbs, so you're having less energy. So it's using what is saved. So what the body does, it stores glucogen for later use. You may have an energy now, but it never knows if it might have a time where you're fasting, and need to use the energy later on, it stores that and then that's why it's the main source of fuel for the body, carbohydrates. And carbohydrates are really important for maintaining men menstrual health. Again, every day is different, so some days will have less carbs and they'll be fine, some will start to have regular cycles by having less carbs. And the reason for that also is because the HPA exit, your brain, its main source is glucogen, glucose. And then depleting the source of glucose, because of the HPA exit to the brain and how the hormone function works from that with the menstrual cycle, Going lower on carbs, you essentially having less glucogen stores, you have a disruption in the HPA access, and that can lead to also irregular cycles, something called functional hypothalamic, I would say probably, functional hypothalamic amenorrhea. So what you're just looking for is a good amount of carbohydrates in your nutrition, in your own diet, to help with the source of glycogen so you can still continue to have a regular cycle and that would be different for each lady but to have a good amount of carbohydrates for yourself keep the menstrual cycle regular as the HPA exercise regulates the stress response and now if you have someone that training regularly playing a lot of sports as a lady what can happen is again you're stressing your body you're training you're playing sports you're doing all the good stuff and now you're having low carbs and low calories that's extra stress on the body and so the HPA exercise positively regulates your stress that's an increased uh, level of cortisol and by not fueling the body you're increasing the stress on the body to try and recover and so that's where it's got to do one or two things it will slow down some processes in the body and one thing it will do is a cool I'm going to stop my cycle because I'm not, I'm not in enough fuel the stress response is enough for the HPA exercise to be disrupted and have overactivity so therefore it's going to do one few things and one of them have a regular cycle so that's why it could be bad to have chronic low carb intake so very important for hormone regularity and metabolic health that you have a decent amount of carb intake and just having the quality of carbs I say sorry, I just used the right word having the quality of carbs that will help with that so then the vegetables the whole range the fruits because they still have the fiber in them so the foods that are high, the fruits, the foods that are high in fiber, the quality ones that are high in fiber, they're going to play an important role in the metabolic health, hormone health as well. This is why we don't want to just 
disregard the importance of having carbs in your nutritional diet. And specific health conditions such as PCOS and diabetes are going to have a different approach to having carbs compared to someone that doesn't have these health conditions. A lady that has PCOS will have a different amount of carbs that she needs to take on some, especially one that has diabetes as well. Their carb intake will be completely different. The quality of carbs they will need to focus more on compared to someone that doesn't have these conditions. That's why an individual approach is the best thing that we can do for ourselves. If you go in the supermarket, best way to choose your, the right food for you, the carbs and food, you just go on the outside of the market. Best way to do it. Outside of the market, inside is where you have more sort of fine stuff, and on the outside is where you more have the high quality foods, high quality carbs. But carbs are not the enemy. They are very important for hormonal health, for weight management, just to enjoy yourself as well, for sports, for activity, for anything you do, carbs play a crucial role in what you're doing. Again, if you're trying to build muscle, their protein's better. If you need energy, the carbs store energy for later use. So much comes into play, and just keep saying carbs are bad, carbs are bad, puts it into the head that people should be scared of having any type of carb. No, said for a healthy balanced diet and to improve health and vitality carbs need to be included in your nutritional plan whether that's your nutritionist to help you but understanding that you have choices of carbs not all carbs are created equally you have your refined simple sugar carbs you have your low in low gi carbs the high fiber carbs which are going to be your best ones to have you have those as a majority and you want to have some simple ones when you're training before your session after after your session if you're playing sport and sometimes if you want to have it as a joy, a sweet, some cake, they all play a role. And the big one is not every sweet is just sugar and carbs. Fats play a role in it too. These companies know how to make these things work really well and bind together. It's fats and carbs together that make stuff like donuts taste really amazing. It's not just carbs and not the enemy. So go and enjoy your carbs. Have fun. Live your life. Don't restrict yourself unless you need to have to. Or if you have a specific health condition, uh, they are the biggest ones. But find a nutritionist that can help you. Talk to your doctor. These are the ways that you're going to look after yourself. And stop following everyone telling you what to do. Because not everyone always has the best interest. It may have worked for them at one time, but doesn't mean it's going to work for you. You can try and test, but don't restrict yourself and make yourself unhappy. Enjoy your carbs. I'll see you in the next one.